Good Monday morning. According to High Bank, it is going to be modified Monday. So if you like the modifieds in an R2K, head on over and do the hot laps. As fun as can be. Um, also doing the hot lapping, the bi-weekly, I think is what it is. He does it every other week over at No Grip, which is uh, Watkins Glen without the boot before they put the boot in on the on the back straight. So that should be pretty interesting. And a car that goes almost, what, 200 miles an hour by the time it reaches that last cor that corner there. It's going to be interesting. Um, nothing fantastic happened. Waiting on the phone calls that should start pouring in this week. Job offers and other things that I have got going on. Um, job offers, most important thing of all. Start that. If you hear something banging in the background, it's a little Izzy. She's playing at the moment. And I think she lost her toy. So yep. there you go. She needs help. Where's your toy? Where is it? And she threw a piece of oh, something down. Up here. Down. Yeah, I'll get that later. She's throwing this around. So that's came and do my blog. I'm surprised it's the first time that I've been interrupted by one of the puppies to do something for them. I'm doing my blog. Miracle, as it seems. It's the first time that Izzy's done that. She's quite the active little dog. She's a little over two years old. She's a Britney Spaniel. We haven't sent her to any kind of training. Which everybody says, when you have a Britney Spaniel, you got to send her to training because she'll be nothing but rocket. Well, she's a puppy. She's, she's always going to be a puppy. And we've come to that understanding. She's a brat. She's spoiled brat too, because she curls up right up, right up against my chest when I sleep. She, you know, I lay on my side, and she's like right here the whole time. And I'm either, you know, and then she'll move. I'll sweat all night long, and then she'll move, and then I'll start freezing, because you know, I don't have my little heater with me. And she's tearing that toy apart now, or else I'd pull her up here. Come here, Izzy. Yeah, see, she don't listen to me at all. She just looked at me like I had horns growing out of my head. Go figure. Just like a child. Dogs are just like children. They don't listen to a word to tell them. Anyway. Got. I already said that. Phone calls coming in. I haven't even checked. Yes, yeah, I, I did. Nothing but came in an email that was important just today. I can't remember. There was something else. Now, BL Modding Group, if you watch this, I have no idea who you are. How'd you figure out? You follow us that closely that you you know I drive a Momo wheel, but yet you don't talk to us. I mean, it seems a little odd to me. I think that was the guy's name that he goes by on tonight. Yeah, BL Modding Group. Never heard of you guys. Don't know what mods you guys do, but maybe you ought to talk to us a little bit more over there instead of just, you know, coming and occasionally talking. Might have a couple of good testers here. Who knows? And anybody know who this BL modding group is? You know, might want to let me know, PM me, or um, whatever. It just seems weird that I didn't mention that I'm still having problems with my wheel settings in the Simbin game. I'm getting them ironed out, and I don't think that when I did the TTL, he put up. I bank put up last night it had anything to do with the wheel being that far off. I just think because I, I chose the chose the Alpha and that car just doesn't drive worth a crap in that in that sim as far as I'm concerned. Because I got I got beat by minis. And the time got beat by guys driving minis. Maybe I should have drove. You know, I said all I ever drive in that sim is the minis. And you get tired of driving the same old car, same old car all the time. So I decided to take the Alpha out. So. What the hell? It's not a competition. Not supposed to be. And I'm guessing people think it is, but it's not supposed to be. So there's not a good enough film in there yet for me to wash it yet. Gotta get that nice thick film inside the coffee cup to get a real coffee flavor. You know what I'm saying? Get that strong coffee flavor. And there's a pug on my feet now. Lift the pug up. Ah, she's laying down. I ain't lifting her up. She's trying to find a cool spot in the sun. Just, she's fat. I don't know. 
Anyway, there's something else I had in my mind. And I don't remember what it was now. She's talking in the background about something about the dogs again. Izzy's down there again. I hope she doesn't lose her toy again. Anyway, there was something else. I can't remember what it was. It was on my mind last night. I need to write this stuff down because it was on my mind last night. I'm like, oh, I'll remember. I won't forget. It was just semi-quasi-important, but I don't know. People need to start hot lapping more. You, you, oh, there's a new guy who joined who's from France. No big deal. I don't care where they're from. They're in your sim racing. But uh, they don't understand the importance of um, wheel time. And hot lapping is a great way to get wheel time in. Um, as opposed to racing. Um, because, oh yes, 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 yes. I did do that 120 lap. There will be no video for that either. But getting back to what I was saying, um, hot lapping for wheel time is great. I mean, it's most, we do a lot of road courses, so that, that helps with the, the gas and the pedal work for your short tracks, believe it or not. The two coincide to each other. That's why you always see the guys who have run open wheels and, and um, GT cars and stuff like that. They're always up front at Martinsville. and Except for... Um, What's his name? Clint Boyer. He's a short track driver. That's how he's used to that. But um, the guys, AJ Allmendinger and some of the other guys like him, you can see, you always seem to see them up front. When Ambrose was in the series, you saw him up front at the short tracks. It's because it's, it's, it's the braking. All about the braking. And they were good at it because they were good road racers, or they are good road racers. So, you know, hot lapping. Doing. Even the, even the road course ones, because in the long run, it'll help you with short track racing. Because <laughs> it'll get your braking down, where you can, you know, use less brake and less gas and get around the corners faster. That's all I know. Uh, yeah, the 120 lap shootout, I got wiped out about halfway through by somebody clipping me in the rear end when I was passing them. I may have clipped them. I may have come up too soon. Spotter said, clear. Never touch your spotter. Never, ever touch your spotter. Spotter said, clear. I go up the track. I start spinning out. My front end winds up on the wall, the, in, the inside, the outside pit wall on the inside of the track. You know, outside wall, pit wall, then another pit wall. Well, that wall there, the car ended up like this. At right past the start finish line, so you had to call a tow truck. So you got to wait for the tow truck. So that took about four minutes to wait for him to come. And then they had to fix the car because the car did barrel roll. You're talking about I'm almost, you know, five minutes sitting there. I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to restart this. I'm like, no, I'm already half done, so I'm not going to do it. So I wound up finishing 28th, four laps down because of that or something like that. I mean, I was sitting there. I wasn't even paying attention to the time how long I was sitting there. I had to be close to four minutes, though, because it was all in the caution. So whatever. It was stupid. <laughs> I didn't mind doing it. I won't do. I don't think we should do those in short tracks. I don't mind bigger tracks, but where well, you don't lose a lap if somebody does something stupid, nor you trust your spotter. Trust your spotter. Not in the game anyway. Sim, 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 sim. Just, they don't see that the AI picks up speed once it gets off the corner. And you know, after a hunt, after 60 odd laps, he was getting kind of monotonous anyway. So you know, you're just sitting there picking off one guy at a time from the back to the front. Was running the top 15 at that point, about halfway through, which would have put me right up at about the front at the beginning if I hadn't been wiped out. That's the way I look at it. Was picking off one guy at a time. I waited a good 10, 10, 15 laps. Let the car, let the herd thin out a little bit before I started passing people. You know, because if you're trying to pass cars at Dover or Martinsville or, or Bristol, you know, right at the drop of the green flag, they're, they're running side by side. They're, they're beating and banging on themselves, causing wrecks themselves. The AI will do that. You know, then the cars, you just get about ready to pounce on one car and his engine blows. That's that that's fun. It happened to the, the Kyle Busch car, and which is kind of ironic that his car blew about halfway through, well, about 20 laps into it when his car, real car, blew in real life. I thought that was kind of funny that my, my, 
my race there that it blew and his car blew up for real too so that's that there won't be any video I kind of just took the screen capture of that and said on that I ain't doing any video because it was worthless watching me roll around with a wrecked race car for 60 laps anyway that's that's that story I don't that, that was the two, two, two or three things I thought about last night now. See, I remembered. It took me an extra five minutes to remember, sitting here thinking while I'm jabbering on about any old thing. So, ten minutes are up. Smoke me a kepper. I'll be back for breakfast.